Hi, in this tutorial, I'll talk about context aware configuration. As part of this tutorial, I'll talk about what is context aware configuration, how to write and use those, and a demo. To understand the need of context aware configuration, let's understand the scenario. So, in my code, I need a configuration which has basically site country, locale, admin, and section. If I ask you how to get this configuration in my code, so your answer should be you will create a OSGI configuration and you will use this OSGI configuration in my code wherever I need. So for this scenario, let's understand I have a component and I need this configuration in my component. So it's fine. I put some values in configuration and I'll use in my component. Let's say that component is used on my different sites. So in this scenario, I have a three country site, US, India and Germany. So now the problem is I need this configuration with a different value on a different site means I need a different values of this configuration on US, India and Germany. If you know OSGI configuration, which I have already explained to you in detail in previous tutorials. So your answer can be, let's create a factory OSGI configuration, create one instance of this configuration for each site and write some code to identify which one will be used for which country. And you are correct. Till the here, it's fine. You can achieve this using OSGI configuration. But let's say I have different language sites for a country. I have two different different sites for each country. Now I need this configuration with a different values on each site. So now you will be having six OSGI configuration means factory configuration instances. Now it will be very difficult to identify which one will be used for which website. You have to write a lot of code and it's not feasible. In cases, let's say tomorrow you add two more countries with five more sites, then how will you handle that? And not here, let's say in my US English sites, I have two subsections and I need a different configuration for a different section that means for my tutorial pages I need a different section different configuration means the different values of this configuration so you cannot achieve this with OSGI configuration this is this is problem with OSGI configuration because you must understand OSGI configuration are written for run modes means your environment not for your site specific these are bind to run modes as per the concept now to resolve this problem means you need a different configuration at each level at, or at least each site you will be using context aware configuration. So let's see how context aware configuration resolve this problem. So this is my site. First of all, you must understand uh, my context aware configuration are stored in conf means site specific folder in conf. Okay. So let's say I need a context aware configuration. So what you will be doing, you will be add a property sling colon uh, config ref in your content means your site and you will be pointing to the folder where your uh, context aware configurations are. So how will you write that create a folder with sling colon config, it should be a sling folder and you put your configuration. Let's say my configuration is geek ca config. And I'm using this configuration in a component, which component is being used on the pages throughout my site. So uh, let's say I'm displaying the values of this configuration through that component. So for all my sites, wherever I use that component, that component will be start picking values from this configuration. Okay. Not only component you can use in anywhere in backend module. I'm just giving you an example of component. Okay. Now let's say, as I told you, now I need a different configuration for US, India and Germany. So what I'll do, I'll create a configuration specific to my country. So again, what I'll do, I'll create a one more folder inside my AM Geeks folder, Sling folder called US. Name can be anything because you will be referring through this property. You will add this property in this as well in, in content, wherever you are website start and you will create one more configuration same configuration under this folder right again this will be a sling folder and this ca config just copy this configuration with a different value and keep different values in this configuration same way you can create for other countries as well remember you should refer these configuration using this property wherever you need 
so now my each country website pages start picking configuration from specific configuration now let's say okay so all my us pages wherever it is irrespective of the language site they will pick the configuration from here right and the same way for india and germany as well now let's say i need a different configuration for german site for country German and a German language site. So what I'll do, I'll create a one more configuration. Let's say for this, I create a one more configuration. Inside this Germany folder, I create a again a folder and I create a one more configuration. Same configuration with the different values, okay? Again, I'm saying this folder structure is not mandatory to be same, but it's always good to have the same structure like the structure what you have means what the con your content have so that anyone can understand it right you can have a different structure as well because you will be referring this structure using this property okay so what you'll do you'll add this property here and from this property you refer this you add as a value of this property you will add this path so all the pages all the pages of german site whatever are there they will start picking values from this configuration and you are not writing code at all okay now so all the english pages whatever the pages you have in english site they will start picking configuration from parent and your german site will be start picking from configuration from german specific uh, configuration so here one point you must understand your configuration ca configuration are resolved from top to bottom from child hierarchy to parent hierarchy okay now let's say i need a different configuration for my uh, us en and tutorial subsection so again i will create another folder means for the configuration and i'll keep the configuration here and i refer this configuration from this sub hierarchy not from the site even even this is subsection so from the subsection i will refer here so all the pages below this uh, you know this tutorial subsection they will start picking configuration from here okay so rest of the pages like this blogs english and uh, th these pages this english and in both they will be keep picking the configuration from this only the subsection for which you define a specific configuration they will pick configuration values of configuration from this configuration ca configuration so here you are not writing code at all your content is deciding means your what the, your property whatever you mention and what value you added that actually deciding which configuration you supposed to pick for this hierarchy this content hierarchy and imagine if you had to write this through OSGI configuration how difficult it could be even you could not manage it at all so writing OS, uh, this context aware configuration is very easy you just need to create a configuration means like we created OSGI configuration and you just need three lines of code to call that configuration and you will get that configuration object don't worry I'll explain you I'll show you in demo everything now let's understand the demo what we are going to achieve so we have a context aware configuration I call this context aware configuration in my component I have a component called card okay and these values means whatever values are there i will display in this component part component and i will you know use this component on different uh, websites or even different local sites or even different sections to show you how easy it is creating osgi configuration is very simple you have to create a at the rate interface class like you create for osgi configuration the only difference is you have to use at the rate configuration annotation and you are done in at the rate configuration annotation you can give label description name and there is a one more important property called collection collection is true or false by default it's a false so about the collection i'll talk uh, about collection later in some other tutorial okay then you have to define at the rate property each value you will be defining through one at the rate property annotation and then you will be defining the method like you do for osgi configuration you can give default value as well if you need okay so that that's straightforward and you are done with the osgi configuration now how you will call that osgi configuration or refer this osgi configuration in code in anywhere so what you have to do 
right so first you have to get a resource right resource where you will need this OSGI configuration I mean sorry context aware configuration so let's check here so I'm, I'm using in a component so I'm passing a current path and from current path I'm getting resource means I got a resource means my page is a resource okay and through resource resolver this is the only one line you must understand right from resource you are adapting to configuration builder and once you have configuration builder configuration builder has only one method called as configuration builder as your OSG uh, sorry your CA configuration means context aware configuration and that's it right this is my CA configuration and this will return means this method will return your context aware configuration now you can use anywhere wherever you need let's say now i have post construct method in my sling model so i got this i call this method by passing current path current page path i got this geeks ca config object means context aware config object and now i can call all the four methods what i define here right in configuration okay get site country site locale admin and now because i am calling this in a sling model i am returning it to sitely to my component component you understand this is my component i'm only displaying these values like language uh, locale what is country here that's it now how you will uh, declare or set this configuration in your config folder so let's say i'm in my own config folder am geeks and i created a folder sling colon configs this should be a sling colon folder now i created a unstructured node you will see this is the package till my class okay and i add these properties you will be seeing whatever the method name were there i'm adding the same property here and i'm adding values like site admin is in gigs country gigs site locale is english and site section so i define only one right in my am geek so this configuration should be used for throughout my site but how this configuration will refer in your content okay let's come to the content am geeks in my parent in my jcr content i added a property called the sling colon ref sling colon config ref and in this i'm adding the path to my folder of config conf means config conf slash my folder configuration folder site specific folder now from here it will define okay my ca configuration are at this path so start this will start picking configuration from this path throughout my whole site okay now let me use that component in us as well as some other countries so i use that component in one of the page of german inside a german site inside india in hindi site as well as in english in us site so you will be seeing the same values are populated here even irrespective of the site i am because i have only one configuration if you check here and come back i have only one configuration so throughout your pages will be picking these configuration now let's see let me create a country specific configuration for india as well as in us so you will be seeing here i created a folder called in india and it should be sling folder and again inside that i created again the same folder sling colon config and i create one more config here now what i'm defining site admin is a geeks country is india language is hindi and its a section is let's say indian site and same for us i created another one same for us us sling colon configs and here country is USA and admin is someone else and English US site and to refer those right to refer those for a specific country you have to come to country and in JCR content again you add the same property sling colon config ref and define the folder right IN folder that means for rest of the hierarchy for rest of the hierarchy it will start picking configuration from this folder under this folder if configuration present if configuration does not present then again it will pick from parent okay same way for us 
I define this, I'm saying sling uh, config ref is equal to conf am geeks us. So now for the rest of the wherever I use this component on any of the page, it will start picking configuration from this folder if configuration exists. If not, it will pick from parent one. Okay, now let's reload those pages. So you will see this US EN pick from US site. So it picked this configuration, right? Which is specific for US. You will be seeing these values. And for India, it pick from India configuration, right? You will see that language is Hindi and site is Indian. And you will see same configuration here. Because the Germany, I did not define any configuration. So it will pick configuration from at top means root, right? And what is the root configuration? This is the root configuration. So if I reload this, it will still keep picking from the root configuration. So that way you can define even for the subsection. So let me create uh, one for the subsection as well. So now you will see I created a specific configuration for US Spanish site, right? ES site. So under US, I created a ES page for ES and I, again I kept the same configuration in same way. Again I'm saying folder structure is not important. You can have anything because you will be you know referring through that property but try to keep same as what you have hierarchy in your content. Okay. So now for ES inside ES let me create this property and I mentioned this is my configuration. So confref and this configuration. Add this, save this. So I have a page so if I open this page, right, this page, so whatever I define here, you will be seeing here, it's site admin is a Spanish admin, country US, local Spanish and site US Spanish site, it should display these values, okay. So if I open it, you will be seeing these values, right, country is equal to US, language, so that way you, you see the power of this context aware configuration. You are not writing code at all, still you, this is keep picking the configuration based on your content from which where means where you are referring these configuration. So this is the power of this context aware configuration. I hope you understood. If you have any question, please do comment. Thank you.